Many times people want to become a new version of themselves without first putting the old version of themselves to death. If you are ready to stop operating in the masculine and rest in your feminine energy, then keep watching. Tapping into your feminine energy will benefit you in every aspect of your life. When I speak of feminine energy, I am not speaking about only having a feminine appearance. I am referring to the inner qualities that you need to tap into in order to rest in your femininity and reap the true benefits of being a feminine woman. As women, we all naturally have a feminine nature, one that makes us gentle, caring, soft-hearted, and warm. However, not every woman nurtures this side of her, and unfortunately, some have had to bury that side and live in a masculine energy as a means to survive and get by. In today's video, I'll be sharing five ways in which we as women can begin to tap into our feminine energy. But before I get into the video, I want to say special thanks to the 500 plus ladies who have subscribed to my channel. You are literally helping to make my dream come through. Let's get right in. Number one, learn to leave things that you cannot control. Stop stressing yourself and being desperate to change every single thing. The reality is that things will happen in your life that is beyond your control and as much as you need that thing to go in another direction, learn to let go or at least change the way you react to it. You cannot make your partner change his ways. You cannot make yourself get an A on the exam. You can only study and do your best to pass. I hope you see where I'm going here. Number two, surround yourself with women who have also tapped into their femininity or those who are also in the process of doing so. I know this may not be possible for many to physically do, but this can be done on social media. The more femininity related content that you view on social media is the more the platforms will suggest to you. But on the other hand, if you're stuck on consuming content that are not aligned with the woman who you are becoming, then that is what the platform is going to keep suggesting. Join Facebook groups, follow other feminine women on Instagram, and subscribe to channels like mine here on YouTube that speaks about femininity. I also suggest you go through and unfollow and unsubscribe from those channels and accounts that are no longer aligned with the woman you are now becoming. Number three is to ask for and accept help. Seek out ways to make your life easier. No man is an island. You do not need to do every single thing by yourself. There may be people around you who are genuinely interested in offering you help and support and I suggest you accept it. Of course, please use discernment and do not accept help from those who will want something in return or those who will use it to degrade you in the future. Number four, learn to mind your business. This may sound harsh, but it is the reality. You don't need to concern yourself with who someone else is dating or what they choose to do with their life. Keep in mind that we don't need to always have an opinion on everything. By minding your own business, you will save yourself lots of unnecessary stress and you will have more time to rest or to focus on the things that truly matters in your life. Number five is to embody femininity. This means to let go of the masculine version of yourself. As I said in the beginning of the video, for you to become a new version of yourself, you must put to death the old version of you. Start operating as the new feminine version of yourself. Make an effort to stop the yelling, be kinder, be more empathetic, practice feminine mannerism, ask for help, and pursue feminine hobbies. Avoid the things that cause you to be masculine, and if you can't necessarily change the situation, then change how you operate in it. Keep telling yourself that you are no longer the woman who nurtures masculine qualities within herself. Thanks for watching to the end. Stay feminine and sweet. Until next time.